Okay, this is the part where I built the power supply box for the CNC machine or CNC router. Over here I have a case which I built using fiberglass and basically acrylic standoffs like this one. So with the L brackets and the fiberglass sheets, they come out with something that looks like a casing. If you are using metal, be sure to insulate the case properly because you're dealing with um, AC power supply and it can kill you. On my unit here, you can see I have the standard power box here. This one outputs 19 to 36 volts. There's a port over there at the bottom which you can't see, but it allows me to adjust the output voltage. So it steps down AC to DC and I could tune it down to 19 volts. That's as low as, as I could get with this box. I have a cooling fan here and this one is a 12 volts. So I have to series two of them in order not to burn out the fan since this one outputs 19 volts. For the output, there are two of them. One of them, as I mentioned, goes to the fan and the other one goes to the driver board that drives the 3 CNC um, stepper motors. Now let me tilt the box slightly so, so that you can see the inside. This one is a power transformer and it's a separate unit. You need it for the spender. So this is the 50VA transformer. There are several pins out but if you follow the instructions basically 0 is negative and 1 is life. So again um, these are AC. I have already powered off the mains but if you are not careful it's dangerous and you could get electrocuted. Output 11 is neutral and I'm using pin 14 which is the 36 volts. Now let me show you the other portion which is the front panel. Over here I have a separate switch for me to power off and power on the output to the spinder. This is a 2 pin aviation plug as you can see. At the side here you can see basically this is the um, on off switch for the mains and standard um, power cable like those you will use for a computer. In order for the transformer to work you do need other components. Over here I install a bridge rectifier. So what it does it, it takes the 36 volts AC output and converts it to DC 36 volts and then I hook it up to the relay switch here this is the JZC-23 and what it does is basically it's a relay if you fit it with 5 volts here if you fit it with 5 volts then it will turn on otherwise it remains an open circuit and the 36 volt DC does not get to the output on the aviation plug. So I'm going to test everything on this box to make sure that everything is running and in order. Now that I've powered on the mains, I'm going to turn on the unit. Okay, now you can see the green light over there, which means that uh, it's getting power and the switch is working. No smoke, so everything looks good. Okay, the next step is I'm going to test the output from this box using the multimeter. I've set it to 50 volts DC, if you can see it here. Yep, I'm get, getting 20 volts there. So it's working. The PC power supply box is working. It steps down the AC to 20 volts which will be used to power the DC fans and also used to power the driver board for the stepper motors. Next step is to check that the transformer 
the bridge rectifier and the power relay switch are all working properly. So let me just connect the 5 volts voltage regulator to the wires here which goes to the relay switch. Okay. So before I connect the LiPo battery to fit in the 5 volts for to turn on the relay, I will have to power on the transformer. Okay, that's power on. Once again, no smoke, everything looks okay. Let's see if there's any output right now. Nope, nothing. Okay, now let's turn on the relay by feeding in the 5 volts. Okay. Hopefully, we should get 36 volts DC on the aviation output. Yep, it works. Okay, everything's working. I'm happy with it. And of course, um, the 5 volts will not come from this um, ESC. 5 volts will come from the USB CNC control board, which will turn on and off the spindle. It basically controls um, the spindle and the three stepper models. So everything is working, and it looks like I have a working power supply box for my CNC machine. I have this uh, switch in front, is that um, I could basically turn off the transformer if I'm not going to need the spindle if I'm just uh, moving the robotic arms uh, on the CNC router I could conserve power by turning off the transformer and only have the PC power supply unit box working I've powered off this and off the mains so the next step is to install the cooling fan um, this is 12 volts, so I have to series another one to it and the other fan will be used to cool the driver board for the stepper motors. Other than that, I'm done and the next project would be to work on the second part of the controller unit which is the other half box which contains the USB CNC and the driver board and then I could stack the other half on top and have a full CNC controller unit Thank you for watching